Obviously, that's been a very significant yeah. subject here in Colorado and in other states um, for the last year plus. And, and, and when you're talking pesticides, are you talking OMRI certified pesticides or even cleaner? Um, the hope is to be even cleaner. What we use is a, a mix of, first of all, having the healthy soil system that encourages the healthy immune system for the plant, which um, can deter bugs naturally. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we use uh, nematodes, basically, so little beneficial bugs that we put sure. in the soil. Mm -hmm. So any soil-borne insects, we use those little guys to attack those. And then we use beneficial uh, predator bugs, uh, like Swirsky mites and like Californicus mites, which we use in small doses here and there throughout the garden um, in little uh, like breeder packs. So oh, they, sure. they kind of emerge every so often. And those are like our little bodyguards. And so by using a very small amount of those, if we do see uh, if something does get into the garden somehow, um, somebody has a home garden we don't know about, something like that, and a spider mite somehow makes it into our place, the idea is we have enough little good guys there um, that will prevent an infestation. And I love this idea of beneficial bugs. So kind of walk us through it, though, because how do you buy them? How are they packaged? How do they arrive? Yeah, and then also, cool. how do you distribute them through an entire cultivation? It's a lot of work, actually, but oh, the way they come sure. is um, from a company in Belgium that we use, mm -hmm. um, and they send them in either, you can get a live um, release packet, which is basically, it looks like one of those little tubes you put in the mail slot that sucks up to the oh, yeah, mail sure. person. Old school banking. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah, so, it's look, and then it's kind of like a big salt shaker, and you kind of, it has like bran and factitious prey in there, and you release them in little boxes in different places, and. Um, and that's how you do it, really. Do you have to release them in individual plants? Oh, no. Plants well, they, you know, portions? when you get a packet, they say, you know, there's 25 million in here. So one teaspoon of this, you should release so many of them, or 25,000. Maybe 25 million is closer to the nematodes. The, you know, the bigger bugs hmm. are less of them. But it's definitely, in my opinion, the way uh, I would prefer to have my cannabis pest control take place. Uh, rather than really even any of these OMRI certified um, pesticides like the Asmax and those types of things. Sure. Uh, plus, what's wrong with a little bug on bug violence? If, <laughs> I, actually, if you watch under the microscope, and uh, what, I had a friend, you know, he had a russet mite problem. We were releasing the Swirsky mites. And uh, russet mite is really small under a microscope, which is a bad bug. But when the Swirsky mite runs by, it looks like Godzilla runs across the screen. And so it's like, wow. So it's actually a trip because they look under the microscope. You're like, that thing's freaky. Wow. Oh, that, I, I've seen some of the microscope videos when we were doing a lot of yeah. uh, reporting on pesticides. It is, it is crazy seeing those bugs go at it.